This is going down the tunnel underneath the stadium. To get to the photo wells, you can go to either first base or third base side. Either side you go to, you'll be walking by the team's locker rooms and the team dugouts. And you'll see here that's the entrance to the third base dugout or the visiting team dugout. And we come down a little bit farther, take a right, we go through this door. And now you're going to see the area where the photographers set up their laptops. You can see it's not glamorous. There's not a whole lot of room. Uh, this wasn't a huge game. It was the Cardinals versus the Royals, so it was an uh, in-state kind of rivalry. But there weren't a whole lot of photographers there, so it gets really crowded really quick. Let's go up and head up the stairs, and we're going to come out to the photo well. Uh, this is pregame about an hour and a half or so, maybe an hour before the game. There's not anything really going on in the field other than the maintenance crews and the, the field guys working on getting the field ready. One of the things to keep in mind once the game has started is these premium seats, these dugout seats, are right next to the photo well. So you've got to be aware of staying out of these people's line of sight and making sure that they can see the game. Uh, usually that's not a problem, but sometimes if the photo wells get crowded, it can be a little tricky. You'll often have TV uh, interviews being done down here, pregame interviews. And you've got fans right behind you that are trying to get autographs. So this is what it's like before the game. Again, even though there's not a lot going on, you still want to be aware of your surroundings and keep an eye on things that are going on around you. I think that'll wrap up this uh, behind-the-scenes look at a Major League Baseball stadium. I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate those of you who have subscribed to my videos and the kind words that I've gotten, emails. I'm glad to help out and do what I can, and I hope these videos give you some perspective and something to think about when you're out shooting. So thanks for watching, and happy shooting.